Hi there! Congratulations on reaching Lesson 5 of Starting Up Your New Life with Jesus. I'm Josh and we're going to be covering Lesson 5 of How to Create a New Lifestyle Through the Four Greatest Meetings. If you haven't already listened to the first four lessons, please ask your leader to go over them. But if you have, let's go on with the lesson. We'll start with the lesson by reading Genesis 2.18. It says here, the Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. And this is significant because this is the first time God has ever said, this is not good in the Bible. That just um, that goes to show that there is significance in our meetings with one another. And the first meeting that we can talk about is devotions. I hope this is a very familiar term to you and that your leader has been encouraging you to do um, devotions. And this is a very important meeting because it is a meeting between you and God. If we read in Joshua 1, 8 to 9, it says, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate it on it, meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Verse 9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Amen. So God wants to impart our, his wisdom into us every day. And that's what the devotions is for. All right. So the second greatest meeting is between you and family. And how does that look like? It looks like life groups in our church. Hopefully her leader has already encouraged you to join one or is gonna encourage you to join one after this lesson. But what does that mean? Let's look into Hebrews 10, 24 to 25. It says here, and let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up on meeting together as some are in habit of doing, by encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Amen. So that is what Life Group is all about. It's about accountability and being able to encourage one another through the circumstances that we go through in life. Now that we've gone over the first two greatest meetings, we'll go over the third one. And this one is something that you should be familiar as well. It's called Sunday Service. And this is a meeting between you and the whole church. And why is this important? Let's look into Acts 2, 46 to 47. It says here, Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising God and enjoying the favor of all the people. Amen. So they continued to meet together in both the temple, which is the church, and at home, which is our life groups, which is a more intimate setting. And this is the emphasis of why um, the Sunday service is important because it allows us to praise God and enjoy the favor of all the people, meaning all of the church. So it's, um, it's a great time for us all to worship together and to receive the word of God through our pastor. Okay, let's go over the first three greatest meetings. First one was you plus God through devotions. Second one was you plus family through life group. Third one is you plus church through our Sunday services. And the fourth one is gonna be you plus someone new through life class. And what is life class? Let's first look into 2 Timothy 2.2. 2. It says here, And the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses and trust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Let's emphasize that one last part. It says here, Who will also be qualified to teach others. And that's what Life Class is all about. It'll help you be qualified to teach others or someone new to go through what you're going through right now. And you're going through a journey to 
mature yourself as a mature Christian. And um, through life class, we'll be, able, you, we'll be able to equip you and to train you to be able to bring someone new through the same journey that you've been to. And those are the four greatest meetings. Now let's check our lifestyle. Are we applying these four greatest meetings into our life? Are you willing to align yourself to these four greatest meetings? It's for our benefit. God didn't intend us to be alone. So let's be in the habit to meet with one another.